All right, explain what happens during the implementation and review phase of um, the problem solving process. Right. This first question is always a kind of explanation of the problem solving process kind of thing. So, and I think all right, implementation and review. Implementation would be the finished program is put into in a live lab review setting and it is observed by the actual users. They give feedback and the programmers use that feedback to review the changes that need to be made. Or something like that should be okay for you. Examine the following algorithms, label algor algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 and answer the questions that follow. Which of the... Alright, so one is a for loop and one is a while ready. Which of the algorithms illustrates our unbounded iteration? Algorithm 2. Which of the algorithms is bounded is algorithm 1. Explain how the loop in algorithm 1 is expected to terminate when the value of y reaches to 20. Explain how the loop in algorithm 2 is expected to terminate when the user inputs a value of negative 1 for z. No, not value of negative 1, a value that is less than negative 1, value that is less than 0. Yeah, because it's greater than negative one, so that means if you hit negative one, you will you will stop. All right, that was an easy question. I was kickish. All right, the following algorithm is designed to print a table of cubes of all the odd positive integers between seven and one twenty one inclusive. However, there are errors in the algorithm. By referring to the specific line number, identify and correct four errors in the algorithm so that you'll be able to achieve its objective. All right, four errors in this algorithm would be. Now oh, there are. Let's see. Okay. Print of okay, so print a table of cubes of all the odd positive integers. Alright, odd number three to print. So line one and two seems okay. Let's just print the odd number. G is equal to one. No. <clears throat> J is considered to be an odd number, so it should print out the cube of J and start. So if J starts off at 1, no, it's supposed to be between 7 and 121 inclusive. Alright, if it's supposed to be inclusive of 121, that means this is supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be J is less than or equal to 121 to make sure it's inclusive. So line 4 is definitely the first error that we could see there. And what will happen here is J by J by J will end up printing out, but this is just going to print out one by one by one. So J is supposed to start at seven. J should be equal to seven instead. So we start at seven. The first value would be seven. Then we print out our cube and then we print J cube. So it'll be seven and then the cube of um, seven, right? So that's correct. Um, then J is equal to J minus one. It's supposed to be J is equal to J plus one. And it's supposed to go by one. And this here is not supposed to be J by J by J is equal to cube. It's supposed to be cube is equal to J by j by j right I, those are the four errors there finding them and fixing them each one of them would be too much uh next would be write an algorithm that causes iteration that uses iteration to find the sum of all multiples of 8 and all multiples of 11 between m and n exclusive all right so we're going to write an algorithm to find all the multiples of 8 so we're going to go 4 c is equal to between m inclusive m2 but n exclusive so we have to go to n minus 1 because they can't include n in each other so before c is equal to m to n minus 1 b that'll be the exclusive there where m and n are two positive integrals right here so n minus 1 that will be the exclusive part now we have to find the, the sum of all the multiples of 8 and all the multiples of 11 so we're going to say if c mod 8 is equal to 0 or c mod 11 is equal to 0 then sum is equal to sum plus c yeah right, so we set sum is equal to 0 first uh, we set c is equal to 0 any other variable we adequate to and then n n4 alright so that will iterate from m all the way up to n minus 1 and then it will check for if the if we get a mod of 0 that means it's a multiple or 
do a run, then you just add them up and you find the total song. That'll be seven. How do they break this song again? One for the follow. Um, I sure they're gonna give you a one for knowing you have to go n minus one to make it exclusive. I sure they'll have to give you a one for the air. They will have to give you a one for knowing how to find a multiple of eleven and a multiple of eight. But finally, some that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess one for the clear new variables at the start. Yeah, that's, that's the best I could see there. Any um any other solutions or any other possibilities that you would have seen? All right, cool. All right, part number four. Trace through the execution of the following algorithm or our wonderful diagram questions. Oh, how we love you so much. And draw the output of your answer booklet exactly as it would be generated by the algorithm. All right, so write symbol, prints, uh, dollar sign from your current data position. Write list dash one will continue the output on the current line from the current data position. Write line would continue output on the current line. Subsequent output begins on the next line, so I'll print on that line and then go to the next one. Then right line, this one continues the output of list one on the current line. Subsequent output, right? So anytime you have right line, you do what you have to do on that line, and then the next thing that's supposed to happen, go on the other line. Right? Okay, let's see. We have size is equal to 12. I decided to do this one. I should be telling left side. Right? Size is equal to 12. J is equal to size minus 4. So you know that J is equal to 8. While J is greater than or equal to 2, what do we want to do? Right symbol J plus 2. So the symbol is a dollar sign. So right symbol J plus 2. This J plus 2 is going to be 10. So 10 dollar signs. 1, 2, 4, 5, 11. Then we have right line, um, pound sign, so that means the pound sign goes here, and the next thing that happens goes down at that location down there, that part that there to represent that. And then j is equal to j minus 3, that's going to take our j down to 5. So we look back, is the j still greater than or equal to 2? Yes it is. So we're going to write symbol j plus 2, which is 5 plus 2, 5 plus 2 is 7, so we print 7 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you put 7 of them. And then you write line your uh, clear hashtag or asterisk or whatever it is. And then j is equal to j minus 3. j will become 2. Is that correct? It looks so. Yeah, plus 2. 10. And then it goes down by 3, which will be 5. 5 plus 3 is 7. Yeah. Okay, cool. j is greater than or equal to 2. Yes, it is. Because j is 2 right now. So we go into put symbols j plus 2, which is 2 plus 2, which will give me 4. So that will be 1. Two, three, four. Then I have to right line the star, put the star, and then I put the dot. And then j is equal to j minus three. J will become minus one. That now is going to end that condition for the j's greater than or equal to two. And then we have to right line a star. So we put in the star. But because it's right line, you go into the next line after four. And then we enter this for loop now. Four k is one to j plus five. What is the current value of j? Current value of j is one. So you know minus one, minus one plus five. 5 is equal to 4 and then so this is going 1 to 4 this is going to end up resolving to 4 are we printing at signs writing at sign at 2 3 4 that is a weird shape but that's what the answer is. any question generally our question Right. How the marks are distributed in this? As I have said many times, I am not entirely sure how the marks are distributed in these questions. As far as I could tell from the examiner's reports and the sample answers that we may have, they basically look for skills and repetition of it. So I'm gathering that this line here will be two marks because you have to know that you have to print ten times and then do these things and you get two marks for doing that again and then two marks for doing that again. I'll get 2 for 6 and then you're getting 1 mark for that which will be 8 marks and then you only for loop because you have to check for the J plus 5 that'll be 2 marks 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 and I have no idea where the other 3 marks will come from but let's just assume that they give me uh, 3 marks for each line I don't know 2, 3, 9, 9 10 Maybe it could be that again, you three, three marks for each line, maybe. I know for sure that's the answer. How they mark it, if you don't get the correct thing or the exact thing, it is, uh, yeah. All right, construct a flowchart to represent the following algorithm. Oh, this is so nice and easy. Flowchart! That, you literally have it right next to me. Print, enter A, which will be a parallelogram. Print, enter A, and then read A, which will be a next parallelogram. And then set total to one. Setting something to one is a process, so that's a rectangle. Then we have a while loop. Once you bounce up a while loop, that is a diamond. The diamond is going to give you two options. So while A is greater than minus one, our answer is yes. What do we do? If the answer is yes, I have to say A is equal to two multiplied by A. Ooh, there's a next diamond. There's an if again. All right, so the 
this if now will tell me if he is less than 20 because I'm exactly certain I have a yes and I also have a no but I was really no just now so if he is less than 20 my decision is going to be he is equal to a minus 1 else right so there's a else if there's a else I'm giving me no the no value will be a is equal to a plus 1 and then they will all meet here and the total is total equal to total plus a will be in a tangle and then let's look at the actual to print enter a and read it that will be very 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 like you know tempting to just loop this whole thing back to right up here but follow the people um logic because you you have to keep it within the while loop so you print enter a and then read a and after you do that now you could go for the n while which will take you all the way back up to the four diamond right there and now we know for the while it will just take you to print total and then it is start automatic so that's 18 marks so nice easy marks all right let's see you should get one for prompting and reading you one for setting the total you'll get one for having the diamond you have one for the yes and no you have one for a rectangle there you have one for figuring out the if one for the yes and no one for the two two choices being correct one for putting that choice there one for the two parallelograms one for looping back and then the next one will be for printing the total sorry about that yeah, next one will be for printing total. See if I get 18, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 12, I'm going to solve one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Where would they give you your next mark? Hmm. Hmm. I doubt they're giving you a mark for start and stop. I don't know. You just put the extra mark as the neatness mark or correct mark. Sometimes they'll give you a mark just for it being correct.